Welcome to Getting Started with Salesforce Essentials, Sending Mass Emails. In this video, you will learn how to verify your user access to send mass emails, how to send mass emails using list views, and how to send mass emails using campaigns. Before you dive in, it's important to verify that you have the correct user permissions so you can create, edit, and send mass emails. To check your user licenses and permission settings, click on the gear icon at the top right and choose the basic sales setup option. In the left-hand panel, click on the users menu and choose the users option at the bottom. Navigate to your username and click on the drop-down arrow at the far right to select edit user. On the pop-out screen, click on the show advanced options link at the bottom then choose to expand the Assigned Licenses section. From here, you can validate that your user license has the marketing user permission checked, and then you're ready to go. Just a quick note while on this page, the marketing user license has no additional cost to you. It is included in your Essentials license. It may just need to be activated using the previous steps. The easiest way to organize and send mass emails is to leverage your list views. For this example, we're going to be using the Leads object, which you can navigate to by clicking on the Leads tab at the top of your organization. By clicking the drop-down arrow, you can see all of your available list views, allowing you to select the exact list that you would like to use. For this example, I'm going to select the March Open Leads list. Once you have your proper list selected, navigate to the drop-down menu on the right side and choose the Send List Email option. Next, be sure you fill out the subject line and complete the body of the email. If you have a previously saved email template, you can also choose that option by clicking on the middle button at the bottom left of the window. The final step before hitting send is to preview your content. Use the review tab at the top of your pop-out screen to get a quick glance at what this email will look like for all of your recipients. This is the easiest and most straightforward way to complete a mass email send. Staying on this same list view for my March open leads, you can also narrow down the leads that you would like to send this email to by using the checked boxes on the left of each lead. Once you have checked off all appropriate lead records, you can follow the same path using the drop down menu and choosing the send list email option to complete the process. To verify the sent email, you can select any of the leads from the list view, navigate to the activity log on the right hand side, and find the date, time, and details of your email sent. One housekeeping item to note before sending any mass emails in Essentials is your email send limits. If you're currently on a trial of Salesforce Essentials, you will be limited to 10 outgoing emails per day using the mass email feature. The limit if you have a paid subscription of Essentials is 5,000 outgoing emails per day. The second option to send mass emails is to leverage the features in the campaigns object. One benefit of using the campaigns object versus the list view option is that you can send emails to both leads and contacts at the same time. The list view option limits you to either leads or contacts alone. An additional benefit to leveraging the campaigns object over the list view option is that you have the ability to report on the details of your mass emails. Sending emails through the list view is a quick and easy way to contact your leads or contacts, but doesn't allow you to run metrics or look at the success of your email in detail. There are two main ways you can locate the campaign's object. The first is by clicking on the waffle icon at the far left of your navigation bar. In the search box, type campaigns and click on the option below. This will add a tab in your navigation bar, allowing you to complete your mass email needs and then exit out when you are done or you can choose to add the campaigns object as a permanent tab on your navigation bar. To do so, click on the pencil icon at the far right of your screen. In the pop-out window, you will click on add more items, then select the all option on the left panel. 
clicking the plus button next to campaigns, and then choosing add new items button in blue at the bottom right. Now the campaign's object has been added to your navigation bar and you're ready to go. Once you land on the campaign's object, you should see the recently viewed list. Since this is most likely your first campaign that you're creating, you may not see anything on this page. To be sure you see everything you need, click on the drop down arrow, select the all active campaigns list, and then click the thumbtack icon to be sure and save that view as your default going forward. Next, you're ready to start a brand new campaign. Click on the new button at the top right corner. Enter a campaign name, and complete the other available fields and related details such as the status and a start date, and then click Save on the bottom. Now you've landed on your brand new campaign record. From here, you can add all the leads or contacts into this campaign by clicking on the Add Leads or Add Contacts button in the center of your screen. To add a record, simply click the plus button on the left of each row or you can use the search box at the top to find exactly who you need. Once you have added all of your desired leads or contacts, click Next. The following pop-out screen allows you the option to set the status for your campaign. If this is a new campaign, we recommend leaving the options here as default and clicking Next to continue. The status option is for your tracking purposes and can also be updated with customized options by using the object manager in your setup app. Now your email is ready to be sent. From the campaigns window, select the drop down arrow and choose the send list email option. On the pop out window, you will have the same options to create the subject and body of your email that were available when you used the send list email option located within your list view. Update your content accordingly Select an email template if you choose, and when you're ready, click send at the bottom corner. So now you may be asking, what if I have hundreds or even thousands of leads or contacts that I'd like to send to all at once? There's no need to worry, Essentials has a solution. Your organization allows you to add a report of your leads or contacts directly into your brand new campaign. To do so, open a leads or contacts report Click on the drop down arrow next to the edit button on the right hand side and select the add to campaigns option. In the pop out window, you can choose to add this report list to an already created campaign or create a brand new campaign right here and walk through the exact same steps to add in your details before saving and sending your email out to those leads or contacts. A best practice as you are learning and navigating these new features within your Essentials organization is to use yourself as a guinea pig. Send a test email to your personal inbox so you can see all the details of how your emails look before you send them out to your leads or contacts. This will help you ensure the email format, font, and even the subject line are exactly as you planned and your customers will be excited to open and interact with all of your content. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description of this video for other resources to help you get started with Salesforce Essentials today.